Well, it's that time that we mind our pronunciations. And uh, so let me bring in Willis, the word master. Willis, it's great to see you looking really bright this Friday night. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm fine, Betty, and uh, you know, I've listened to that conversation that has been on that yes. is in Nairobi, and I just loved it. Oh, thank you so much, Willis, the webmaster. And uh, let's see if we love the uh, lesson tonight a bit more. And uh, I remember, Willis, you know, last week you taught us that we say incubator. Is that correct? I hope I haven't forgotten. Incubator, okay. in, incubator, in. not in. incubator. And you've also heard our dear lady there uh, talking of Tobias. Yes. Tobias. The yes. way I've been saying, so many Kenyans out there uh -huh. know some of these things. Uh -huh. I really loved the part Tobias when she was talking about it. Okay, Willis. I, you know, until you taught me or taught us, I used to say to. Tobias, is it Tobias? Yes. So, but it's Tobias. Tobias. Many people oh, say Tobias, Tobias locally, That's the one. but it's Tobias. 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 Okay. All right. So let's start off with uh, what on the street, Willis. Let's listen to our dear Kenyans on the street. Gingivitis. 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 Gigifitis. 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 Give it eyes. Give it eyes. All right, Willie, so it's safe to say that uh, our dear Kenyans from Kakamega or Kach or Kachmega or Kakameka are the ones who had the biggest problem with saying that word, Willie. So let's talk about the right pronunciation. How do we go about that one? <clears throat> it happens, Betty. Yeah, very much. You know, this word, if you can remember, not long ago, we, you know, took it to the streets. Yeah. And uh, people tried. Today also, they have tried. Mm. But the biggest problem is some of these words which are not commonly used, you know, in ordinary uh, communication, uh, sometimes they are a bit difficult. Mm. So like this term, it's a medical word or term uh, referring to, you know, the problems with the, the, the gums or the teeth. Right. So you say gingivitis, gingivitis, not gingivitis, gingivirus. I've heard of uh, several <laughs> versions, yeah. but you say gingivitis, okay. gingivitis. Gin. Yes. All right, Willis. Actually, it's even also shame on me because I thought that you know it's Jinji, but you're saying it's G Jin Jinji, yeah. All right, so I've learned something Jin there. Jinji, Jinjivitis. Jinjivitis. All right, Willis. Thanks for that. So let's continue on. And this, when you're explaining, Willis, you said something like ordinary. So we don't say ordinary. We say ordinary. Betty, I want to be, be very clear this time about this word. Mm. You can say ordinary, ordinary, ordinary and ordinary. Okay. Just like student or student, student, important or important, prudent or prudent. So we should not say, when you say dictionary, it is wrong. No. You say dictionary, but you can also say dictionary. So mm. those alternatives should be understood so that we don't make mistakes. All right. Well, Willis, I'll tell you for free that I'm going to be saying dictionary because it sounds, you know, like I always say, it sounds much, much better, Willis. But like you mentioned, you can use both. <laughs> You'll say important. I know. <laughs> OK. Well, let's, let's continue with the, our, word, our list. And uh, I'll spell this next word for you. R E S O R T. Resort, resort, like a, uh, what do you say, like a vacation, resort, resort. How do you say that? Uh, letter S takes the voiced sound z, like okay. a Z. Z. So you say 
resort. Resort. Resort, just as a verb, uh -huh. resort to do something or the resort. Okay. All right, Willis, got it. Let's move on to the next word. Here I have a word that I can't quite pronounce, but I'll try. I think it's am amistice, amistice. How do we say that one, Willis? Yes, you say amistice. Oh. Amistice, okay. not amistice. All right. Uh, Betty, we have the word ice, that is I-C-E, yeah. ice. But it really confuses many people, like when we talk of justice, yeah. somebody may say justice, which is very wrong. Extremely so wrong. somebody may also say prejudice, which is not you know, the way to pronounce that word. You say prejudice, yeah. hospice, novice, amistice, apprentice, not apprentice. So we have to know, and the other day there was a joke. Somebody asked me, do we say Willis or Willis? Because my name has I-C-E instead of S. And I asked the person then, can we also say Alice? Because <laughs> we only say Alice, Willis. So sometimes knowledge, and that is definite knowledge, can be very helpful when it comes to the English phonology. Eh, Willis, your explanations already are, you know, very scientific sometimes, you know, quite heavy. But uh, <laughs> let's move on. You're the word master here. So this other word, I'll pronounce it. I'll, I'll, I'll spell it out. B-U-O-Y-A-N-C-Y. Buoyancy. Buoyancy. Oh, you say buoyancy. Okay. Buoyancy. That right. U is not pronounced. You say buoyancy. B U O Y boy. Then boy. you say buoyancy, not buoyancy. No. Bo. Okay. Not bo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Got it, Willis. Moving on to, so we say buoyant, yeah? Buoyant. When... Yes, buoyant. Buoyant, okay. Boy, buoyant, buoyancy. All right. Got it, Willis. Let's move on to this other word. Do we say innuendo? Innuendo? Or is there any other pronunciation? That is correct, apart from the two. You have the sound ni, ni, innuendo, tenya, innuendo, tenya, innuendo. So you should realize that the sound ni is not very common in most, you know, English words, but you say innuendo, tenya. Okay, innuendo, innuendo. Sounds funny, yes. but, you know, it's the correct thing to say. So it is innuendo. All right, moving on, Willis. So yes, I'll innuendo. Spell, innuendo. All right, I'll spell this one out still. P-L-E-T-H-O-R-A. Plethora, plethora, plethora. How do you say that one? You say plethora, plethora. Plethora. A plethora of something, a plethora. Okay. Not ple, ple. Play. Plethora. Play. All right, Willis. Moving on to another word. Do we say chemotherapy? Do we say chemotherapy? How do we go about that one? Yes. You say key. That letter E takes the sound E, not E. Mm. Chemotherapy. Chemotherapy, not chemotherapy. Okay. Somebody told me chemotherapy. Uh -huh. Somebody may also end up saying chemotherapy. Those ones are not there. That could be something okay. to do with, you know, first language or mother tongue influence. But yeah. we say chemotherapy, chemotherapy. Right. But then does that mean we also say chemistry, like the subjects that are in secondary school? No, you say chemistry. Okay. Chemistry, but chemotherapy. I All want right. to give you an example again. Uh -huh. Betty, can you pronounce H-A-R-D? Hard. Hard, hard, the way you've said it. Then how about W-A-R-D? Word. <laughs> Word. Word. So you see the difference. This is, yeah. we're talking about what we call the irregularities of English spelling and pronunciation. So you can even have the word horse and was. You'd wonder, why don't we say was and horse or yeah. has and was? 
the irregularities, which can be very confusing. But when you study the English phonology, that is the sound system or the speech sounds of English language, Betty, you can be very much at home with some of those words. Right, Willis, right. Got it. All right, moving on to our feedback question. Comes from Josiah Wamalwa in Bungoma. Thank you, Josiah. Is it Josiah, 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 Josiah? Oh, what you avoid is Josia. Many people say Josia. Josia, <laughs> no. You say Josiah the way you said it. Oh, okay. Josiah Wamalwa in this case. All right. So he's asking about this word B A R B E C U uh, C U E. Barbecue. Barbecue. How do we say it? That is Babi. Babi. Not what? Babe. So that the part B, <laughs> avoid saying barbecue. Very many people say that, Betty, but you say Barbie, barbecue, the barbecue. So barbecue, just avoid it, especially in careers of serious communication. Say barbecue, avoid barbe, barbecue. Eh. Wow, that's a surprise, barbecue. All right, so... I know, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Betty, let me take I've, people through it has the me other off questions. A bit. <laughs> or yeah. I can wait. You have a question? No, I'm saying it, that word has thrown me off balance a bit because I knew that word as barbecue. So it's, it's actually it's barbecue. Barbecue. Got you it. know what? Yeah. There are people, if you tell them we say arena and not arena, they would also ask, what? Yeah. Are you kidding? Are you kidding us? And you know, some of these things, as I said one time in this program or in our segment, there are certain words or pronunciations that we use just because of what lands on our ears regularly, and that is locally. Mm. So when you tell us the correct or the accurate pronunciation, it may sound like rocket science. Right. If I may talk of <laughs> rocket science, just with an apology for that, Betty. Right. Okay. So we have engineer Otieno Ratila of Renga Kojwach, you say geothermal. Engineer Otieno Ratila, you say geothermal. Lucy Njeri, you can say pencil or pencil, but avoid saying pencil. Pencil or pencil. That is for you, Lucy Njeri. Muna Mohammed, you say grumble, to grumble. Don't say grumble or grumble, to grumble. Then Johnny Muli. Johnny Muli, you say Archangel. This one is a bit tricky, Betty. Mm -hmm. When we talk of Archangel, we have the A R C H, which in Archdiocese, Archbishop, Arch Rival, we don't say Arch, but we say Archangel. Mm. And we also say Bull Muli Johnny. Kevin Osido. This one, Betty, I know you love it. Mm. When we talk about the petroleum company, we say total, total. Okay. But the adjective, like when we mean sum, S-U-M, you say total, the total amount, total, total amount. Yeah. But the petrol station or the petroleum company, you say total. So Kevin Osido and our dear viewers, you should get the difference in that case. Karen Anyango, you say conscience, conscience, don't say conscience. <laughs> then Mwalimu Katebes Saddam Kibet, I think this man must be from Kitale or something. Uh. You say data or data. Okay. Data or data. Uh, right. Those are alternatives uh, for that word. Okay. Jonathan Okwemba, or Jonathan Okwemba, you say Pisces, not pieces. You are talking of the horoscopes or, yeah. you know, stars. Don't say my star is pieces. No, you say Pisces, Pisces. Kipiegon right. Rono, you say live. That is the verb, mm. but you can say live, live. Then to leave, to leave a place, mm. or leave when you're working and you're off your duty, you can talk of leave. My leave, leave. begins next week. Okay. That is for you, Kipiegon Rono. And right. we go to surprise 
word betty yeah. if we can do it i'm already surprised Willis. barbecue yes i'm i'm surprised but show us another one. barbecue yeah i know <laughs> <laughs> betty you must be hearing a lot of worship yeah worship uh -huh. but that is not the way to pronounce this word i know this one will make many people ask so many questions mm -hmm. so what have we been talking about but you say were, were, just like in the word work or wa. word. Wa. Worship. Worship. To worship. Interesting. Don't say wa. worship. Okay. That O and R, we call them digraph, combination of two letters forming one sound. Right. So they take the mid central vowel sound, uh, which is long, uh. worship. And then finally, Betty, mm -hmm. we have confusing words. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The upper word is abate, abate, abate. That is uh, a reduction or something, uh, abate, yeah. abating. But when we talk of aiding or uh, supporting somebody to commit some crime or uh, an offense somewhere, we don't say to abate. When you say abate, it will be a bit vague. Okay. So that is the lower word. You say abet with the pure sound eh, to a bet, right. a bet, a but bet. the upper one, a bait. Right. And Betty, you remember I have always said that sounding unique can sometimes be a bit dangerous uh. when it comes to <laughs> accurate pronunciation. Okay. You may sound unique. That yes. is what many people talk of, like swag, swag. and all that. Like, swag. do you know that the word we say twang, twang. is actually twang? <laughs> and it's an English word. <laughs> T-W-A-N-G. It's a twang, to speak with a twang. twang. But locally we say, so and so is twanging. twanging. Anna twang. You must have heard of that. Anna so it's twang. supposed to be but it's twanging. To twang, to speak with a sound like somebody pulling a string and then releasing it. So you'll hear of wow, that is a twang. That sound is a twang, so to speak with a twang, the way the Americans, you know, most Americans yeah. speak. All right. All right, Betty, Willis. Interesting. That is it for tonight. Well, Willis, I feel like I've been on a journey of uh, a serious <laughs> lesson. Thank you so much, Willis, uh, for that uh, lesson tonight. I'm going to go home with pertinent, important, uh, student. <laughs> Because it sounds so much better. And barbecue, barbecue. So Cheng yeah? one on Twitter. All right, so Willis so Cheng one is a Twitter handle. Thank you so much, Willis, the word master there. Joining us from Kisumu County. Remember, you can always catch him here on Friday Briefing. And if not, you can catch him on his Twitter handle at Willis so Cheng one All right. So moving on from the lesson tonight, Moses Wahisi is coming up shortly with some sporting action. Don't go away. We'll be right back.